Good morning, my name is Gabriel Lofton. I'm the assistant superintendent for uh, high schools here um, within our school district. Um, I, I would just like to welcome everyone um, here at the Marison Academy for an exciting three-day event. I just want to thank a few people who were responsible for organizing um, this whole um, professional development series. First of all, I would like to thank our deputy superintendent, Laura Mitchell, um, back in the back. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Definitely one of the most talented educators that I've come across in my career. Um, secondly, I want to thank all the curriculum managers and central office staff who are back in the back and integrated throughout the room who had an uh, integral part in planning this event. So let's also give them a round of applause. Um, Marison Academy and Dr. Jillian Darwish and her staff who um, are responsible for this event in the next three days. So let's give them a round of applause as well. Thank you. And last but not least, I want to thank all of you for your dedication and commitment to our students. And um, thank you for coming this morning and showing up over the next three days to really begin to have some substantive conversations about how we can or better prepare our students for the 21st century. So once again, welcome. And on behalf of um, all the principals and the central office staff and Marison Academy, uh, I want to welcome you to the next three days and to this professional development opportunity. So thank you. Great. Ah, what a wonderful room this is. Um, welcome. I just want to reiterate what Gabe has already shared with you. Certainly on behalf of the design team that's put this uh, event together for the next three days, we are absolutely delighted that you are here. You've chosen to accept the invitation to be with us and work with us for the next three days. And um, genuinely hope you are as excited as we are about the possibilities that we're going to create together. Um, and I really do mean creating together. It's exactly why we've called it a collab to stand for collaboration. And we're really um, enthusiastic and energized about what we think will unfold in these next three days. Um, just to get us started, the most important thing, of course, is who's in the room. So we know a little bit about you in terms of uh, what you've done to get here. You're obviously all teachers in the classroom, but you've given us a little more information in the polls that you've completed. So I want to share with you what we know about the collective. Um, first of all, of course, we know that Amy, Amy, can you raise your hand again? who just won the movie. <laughs> we know that Amy might be inviting us all over for a movie party, so we'll just wait for that invitation, Amy, uh, and look forward to it. Um, but we also know that in this room, there's more than 1,000 years of experience, which is pretty incredible. Give yourselves a hand. <laughs> we also know that there are four rookies amongst us. So let's cheer them on at every step we can, because that'll be important for them not just today. but for their careers, and that's certainly exactly what we want this experience to be about, working together and cheering one another on. We also know that we have some technology wizards in this room. The majority of folks in this room are on multiple devices throughout the day. There is no one who said it's all new to me, and there are at least two people who said I'm always connected. So for you, there'll be a special session on counseling, and we'll talk about that later. We also know that if we weren't here right now all together, being as excited as we are to be up at 7 in the morning to find parking, that um, some of us would be, actually the majority of us, would be sleeping in. And we know that, uh, I guess it's now Robbie. Robbie, who has the chillo? You will be enjoying that maybe on Thursday. <laughs> we also know, interestingly, that um, no one was, has been long enough into the summer yet that they were dying to find a camp for their kids. So that's interesting. <laughs> Let's see. We also know that um, the majority of folks are looking forward to seeing what's in store and quite open to what will happen. And then we also know that there's one person in this room, at least, who said, why the heck is this only three days? I won't out you by saying raise your hand now, because I'm afraid you might get some looks. Um, and we also know that at least two people want to be a small group leader, so find those people. <laughs> so welcome again. We're delighted you're here. Just a few things to share with you about what today will be about. 
certainly I wholeheartedly invite you to explore this room. Not just the people who are in the room, but the artifacts that are in the room for you. One of those artifacts um, is actually on your table. Um, we're going to take a look at those boxes in just a minute, but underneath those boxes is a blotter paper. And the blotter paper is really to explore the answer to one question. We know working that middle, with middle school, okay, you know what I'm trying to say. Middle school, thank you, takes a team sometimes. Middle school students is a lot of things. It's exciting, it's challenging, it's frustrating, it's wonderful, it's a learning experience. And so what we'd love to have you do is on those blotters throughout the day, when something comes to your mind about what's great about working with middle school students, write it down. Okay, I see everyone grabbing their pens right now and <laughs> write it down throughout the day and we'll collect those thoughts and share with everyone. Um, so that's what that's about. But truly use this room as your learning space. Um, the artifacts in the room will be changing throughout the day, so just uh, throughout the three days, so continue to explore those. So a little bit about the design of the day. Again, I've already mentioned we've called it a collab for a very specific reason. And I want you to know a little bit about what the design team has been thinking with regard to the elements. So there will be an, obviously an introduction of new knowledge and we're calling those learning labs. We really want you to, um, of course, listen, take in, but also question, challenge, consider, explore, discuss. And I don't know about you all, but I know the professional learning experiences that I've gone to, no matter how fantastic they are, and how energized I am and how much I learn, I find that I need at least that much time to take it back to my own practice, whatever I'm learning. Frequently, you don't have that. You get back to the onslaught of the day and you're like, oh yeah, well that was fantastic, now I can't do anything with it. But we really wanted to build in the space for you to do that creating so that you're ready to take it back to your buildings, to your classrooms, to your communities and run with it. So we've carved out time for what we're calling creation stations. And we'll talk more about those throughout the day. Then we have those followed by sharing stations. So as I mentioned, there is tremendous wisdom in this room. We should benefit from that and all learn from it. And so we've carved out space to share what you're thinking with one another, to learn from one another, revise, reflect. On the third day, we have a couple of new, uh, what will be new entries for the experience together. One will be the opportunity to select from different sessions that you might attend based on your personal learning needs. And then very, very importantly, we'll have feedback sessions. And these will be structured conversations for you as a collective to give the design team information about what you need to go forward to support your learning over the course of the year. So we really, really want your um, energetic engagement in those sessions so that we can make sure that these events are meeting your needs. That's really the quick overview of what the different elements are about. If you'd like to share what's going on in this room and the other rooms that you'll be participating in, this is the hashtag that we've created. Um, if you go ahead and search the hashtag, you'll find that some folks are already communicating there. Please feel free to use it. We encourage you to do so, and we'll love to see your comments. Obviously, those comments will be shared with the whole world, but we'll also be sharing, certainly in the room, not just face-to-face, -face, but also electronically. So the team has built a, um, a simple Google site that will support the sharing of knowledge. Um, everything that we have created for this event is on that site. So this is going to serve two purposes. It's going to help facilitate our conversations here, but it's also going to help make it possible to readily take this work back to the rest of your teams, right? So we'll, providing, we will be providing, following the event, a guide that will allow you to walk through all of the artifacts and share it back with your teams. So that will be available for you. I just want to point out a couple of things that are there. There's actually two different kinds of sections um, across the top. There is an agenda section because what we'll be doing is posting all of the learning events that happen around this engagement, not just today, but throughout the year on this site. So this will be a living, growing knowledge base around the particular issues that we're addressing. So what you'll see in the, um, the menu item that I have circled is an agenda. And inside that for this event, you'll see the agenda for this event and you'll see all the hyperlinks that go to the materials related to that event. So they'll be easy to access for you throughout the day. We'll talk more about how to get there and, and the navigation in just a moment. Sarah will lead us through that. I also want to point out that on every single one of the pages within the site, you have the opportunity to go to a, a board that will be collecting all of the hashtags from the various social media outlets so that we can see who's talking about this event where. So check that out during the day. In addition to um, 
the communications that we have again with the outside world and those that we'll share amongst ourselves in terms of growing a knowledge base around the issues that you'll be addressing. Um, we will have the opportunity to do some other uh, communications that will happen throughout the day in a formal way. So that's a little bit about what to expect in these next three days. Again, we are absolutely delighted that you are here. Wish you an amazing learning experience. And certainly if any of us in the purple shirts um, can do anything for you, we will be delighted to do so and look forward to hearing from you. It is now my very distinct pleasure and honor to welcome the CPS board chair to the podium. Please welcome Eve Bolton. my teaching career because of where the kids are, where they are with each other, and 
where their hopes and dreams have not even, they haven't even figured out who they are. And they need help. And that's why you're here. To raise their expectations, not of each other, necessarily, although that will come. But to raise the expectation and hope level for themselves. Because for the most part, for the majority of our children, if you're not doing the greatest job possible, and we're demanding that of you, they will not have the necessary expectation of themselves. And without that expectation of themselves, they will never get the tools that they need to compete. Three board members just came back from a Chicago conference and the whole focus is the fact that the single most important people right now in America, we got poor people because they got to tell us that because we wrote the check, <laughs> are those people that are teaching in grades six, seven, eight, and nine. In America, because of the changing demographics, because of the competitive world, global culture that we're living in, and because of the violence that is on some of our streets, because of the media kinds of things that are happening, to raise the expectation of those young people, which by the way is your responsibility, the most important job in America is the one that you have. Your board believes that you will be able to do it, knows that we have to give you the resources to do it. I know it's a virtually impossible to ever give you the time that you need to do it. But the reality is, we are depending on you. We believe in you. We will make extraordinary demands on you and even more extraordinary demands on the people that are in your leadership team, from the superintendent, assistant superintendents, directors, coaches, God knows who. The engine has started on this effort and a lot of strategic decisions have positioned us for these three days. Whether it's the move to 712, whether it in, indeed is the new teacher's contract and the additional amounts of money there and the additional demands, lots of strategic decisions. AP initiative, field enrollment, and yes, open enrollment. All those things have been positioned for this moment that you're in. You have to be our dragon slayers. The dragons are poverty and we're giving you as many of the tools as we can. And hopelessness. And we're giving you as many of the tools as we can. But just as it was, old history teacher, <coughs> the battle of Gettysburg, Bless their hearts, there was that one bloody angle, so to speak, to turn back the Confederacy. Every single historical moment always requires a vanguard of very special people. You are our special people. Let us help you. God bless you. Do great things. Our children deserve it. Board is demanding it, but more particularly, I know as a teacher myself, nobody can have higher expectations than you have of yourselves. Go CPS. See ya! Thank you so much, Eve. Um, hard to follow that up, <laughs> absolutely. But uh, delighted to be able to share a very different kind of message now. My tomorrow. Imagine a place where students are actively engaged with their peers in deep and focused learning, solving authentic problems, thinking critically and creatively, and designing their learning pathways. Imagine a school without walls where innovation and exploration are the norm and students learn anywhere anytime, and use social media to support inquiry and communication.
Imagine students connecting with the world and learning from others in multiple ways where the learning process is focused on asking questions and exploring answers. Hey, imagine a school where teachers are facilitators and guides, who lead inquiry-based learning and problem-based activities. Imagine classrooms where teachers use the best of technology to bring the world in and take students out to explore and extend their horizons. Imagine a place where humanness, caring, sharing, and compassion are fundamental tenets where members can take risks to grow and learn. So what does this mean for you, as teachers? You will learn about and help build these key components of My Tomorrow, Advisory, Playbook, Naviance, Digital Lessons, one-to-one -one student devices, demonstration classrooms and coaches, increased technology support, AP blended learning opportunities. To help you complete this work, you are all getting new Windows tablets today. Right now, open the boxes in the center of your table. Go ahead. Open it. So everybody go ahead and unbox your tablet at this point, take it out of the box.